A few weeks ago, I bought this iPhone 13 Pro, and I kind of forgot the fact that with this iPhone 13, I can actually run 80 FPS on Apex Legends Mobile. So let's go try it out. All right, now we're here in the firing range to show you guys the different graphic capabilities of this device. Uh, now starting off, we're just on 60 FPS. You guys can see uh, the top of the screen towards the right hand side. You see the uh, ping, my battery, which is uh, not very charged, and the FPS chilling at 60. Now, this is what I normally play at on my iPad Pro 2021, even on the latest iPad Pro. Uh, this bad boy still only gets 60 FPS. It's literally like the only mobile game I know in existence right now uh that with that device only tops out at 60 fps but but still you know uh hopefully soon we'll get something more but if you go to the settings on the iphone 13 pro and i think this might only be on the pro you have a graphic or a frame rate setting called extreme now the original graphic setting this is on uh, the ipad so you can play original graphics but for the frame rate, it's only extreme and automatically kicks you down to normal graphics, uh, but instantly off the bat. Like, I, it's only 20 FPS. You might be thinking that's not a huge jump. 20 FPS on this device, it, it feels game changing. It feels so much smoother. It feels so much crisper and cleaner. And I'm not even a phone player. So me being able to notice all these changes is super sick. And uh, let's go ahead and actually try them out in a real game. Why has my teammate decided to drop me in the middle of freaking nowhere? Of course, we were testing this out in a pub because you are going to be tripping if you think that my newly reached predator rank is going to be thrown away. Uh, oh my gosh, because I want to get fancy on a phone. And yes, this is a four finger heads up display. Um, I'm okay with it. Not the best as you can clearly see. Oh my gosh. Like two minutes in, we just got that FPS warning. And if you guys don't know uh, what that is, it basically is like, yo, your phone's already getting pretty spicy. You might experience some FPS drops. And really that's what I want to see is smooth graphics. I'm gonna be honest. Let's, let's go test them out. They look abysmal. Oh my dude, dude. Look, okay, look at this, look at this. this scenery right here. Take a screenshot in your mind, this scenery. We're gonna go to just normal graphics, the next step up in graphics. It is huge difference. It's, it's night and day, there's actually textures on the ground, there's lighting, and so if I can't play on normal graphics with this, if this phone can't handle normal and 80, it's kind of chalked, and I'd rather just play on 60 FPS normal graphics because bro, like smooth is just terrible. Yo, where? Oh my god. Dude, I don't know how you guys play on phones. I mean, like, probably eight. Oh. What? Okay, I will tell you, it does not give you increased aim assist. Let me, let me tell you something. This is not an aim assist, <laughs> you know, setting by any means, but oh my, that was brutal. That was brutal. Dude, again? From like the same spot. Bro. Wait, I might have aim assist turned off. I'm not even kidding. It is off. Why is it off? Why was aim assist? What are up with these? Okay, listen, listen, listen. I knew I, I know I'm not that best on a phone, but I was like, this is just not right at all. No, don't take my kill, bro. Okay, yeah. Problem solved. <laughs> oh, shoot. Can I get a different gun? That's not a pistol. Honestly, RE45 sounds kind of nice right about now. Okay, yeah, much better. Still, honestly, it feels a little, like, too smooth, if that makes any sense. That probably makes no sense, but the, the uh, FPS is, like, too smooth to where it feels like it's just harder to control my aim, uh, which I don't know if is a real thing or not, but it definitely, it's definitely what I'm feeling right now. All right, what are these guys doing over here? Wait, what is this? Oh. What about this guy? Nope. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, it's so slow. I mean, yo, shot the one time I really need bots that are coming in clutch. Wait. Was that a Gibby fighting a Gibby? Or no? It was! Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. I ask for bots and I just get ran up by a full team that's real. What? Nah. He can't be real. He's gotta be fake. This has to be fake. 100%. What is this in exchange? 
He missed like seven shots and I was down. What is, <laughs> what is happening? Oh my God, Jeepers. That's my teammate. Yo, Jeepers to the rescue. Listen guys, I hope when you clicked on this video, you're not expecting pro gameplay because that's not what I'm delivering. But I can say the experience does deliver in Battle Royale. Uh, frames are still holding up. It's only been a few minutes though, so uh, phone, eh, it's getting hot. It's getting spicy, uh, but not to the point where it's, it's like burning my hands and I can't hold it anymore. Uh, but it'll definitely be interesting to see if it reaches that point anytime soon. Where? Oh, is this up here? Oh, it's a Gibby again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did he ult me? Bots can't use ults. I don't like this at all. Just let me get shot from some... Oh, no, dude. I was... Bro, I mean, that's on me. Oh, what? how did I get finished that fast? Oh, my God. This is not looking good, folks. Dude, this guy's level 214. Oh, we've, he's, we're chilling. We're not chilling. That was a whiff, my man. Oh, he's sniping the creep. What is that? An alternator? There's no way that is your desired loadout. Oh, we'll get it one. Give me a second. Yo, we're bringing comp Ducky the Gamer to pubs. Punching kids off spawn because I don't care. Dude, thank you. Okay, my aim isn't bad. It was just it was just the aim assist. All right, we're chilling. Okay, we're getting the hang of it. Dude, why would I reload it? Please, no, not like this, not like this. I can't begin body 24-7, dude. Chilling. That was mega clutch. Easy. Almost easy. I mean, we're what, like 20, 30, 30 minutes into this and still really no frame drops. I'm, I'm impressed. I gotta be honest. Oh my God, dude. We gotta, I'm out of, how am I out of shields? Is that guy dead up there? I don't think so. How is the train unlooted? This is a travesty. Oh, is he got, yeah, dude. No, he's self res. This guy in a pub has self res. I'm done. Oh, beamed. Oh no. Double beamed. Triple beamed. Let's same guys. So double beam still. Oh, that was my first big stutter. Seemingly out of nowhere. Okay, this is insane. This is actually kind of a sus moment. I'm pretty sure these guys are real. Like 90% sure. So I saw a ton of death boxes on the ground. Let's see. Will my teammates come and help me out? Stay tuned. Oh, God. Oh, no. One clip, I think that was. I'm gonna get back up here. Give me up, give me up. Thanks. They're just right in someone's mouth. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, the Cossa got back up. Oh, not for long, to be honest. Dude, let's freaking go. I'm about to drop a little 3K. Well, that was a pretty easy find. Is that GG's? No. 
Where's your teammate? Let's make this nice and quick, please. Oh. He's right here. What's good, Crypto? And GG's. Well, all in all, besides that one tiny frame stutter, phone with a case on, which makes the cooling even worse, it's feeling pretty good. Like, it's not burning my hands. I've definitely had way hotter phones before after gaming on a performance like this. So all in all, normal graphics, 80 FPS, I think it's a success. Uh, so now all I have to do is wait till they bring it to more devices, bring optimization uh, and more FPS to a wider audience. That'll be super awesome. Whatever they do, we'll get you guys that content. Until then, thank you so much for watching today's video. It's been a more like at the end. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.